prevent if for uh, is a double blind randomized clinical trial to address a question of whether <clears throat> high dose omega-3 or DHA supplementation has a role in individuals at risk of uh, dementia or Alzheimer's based on APOE4 genotype. Um, in this trial, uh, 384 individuals uh, were randomized to two grams of DHA versus placebo over a period of uh, two years. The primary outcome was the change in the levels of DHA in cerebrospinal fluid in approximately half of those individuals. And secondary outcomes include changes in brain uh, imaging uh, markers, such as uh, volumetrics or connectivity. And an exploratory outcome was the change on, in cognition based on R bands, uh, which stands for the repeated battery of neuropsychological testing. Um, so that, in a nutshell, prevent E4 recruited individuals who are at risk of dementia based on cardiovascular risk factors, uh, low seafood consumption, and uh, <clears throat> willing to be on the omega-3 supplement. The this, this study ended recruitment uh, in May, on May 1st of 2022, and 300 and uh, I think 60 individuals were randomized out of the 364. And um, right now, we we have approximately a year and a half to finish the recruitment. Or finish, the, not the recruitment, to finish the study itself. The recruitment has ended, and we still have a year and a half to, to conclude the last visit. So the, the primary outcome is the amount of omega-3 that gets into the brain. And we expect that uh, a positive outcome would mean that high-dose uh, DHA supplementation is efficient in enriching the brain with omega-3s. And uh, suggest that this could be a possible correct dose for DHA supplementation uh, for the purpose of AD prevention. Now, um, that doesn't translate into a clinical recommendation. In fact, clinical recommendations require much larger studies and more um, uh, comprehensive cognitive outcomes. We will use the data from PREVENT-E4 to uh, take the next step forward, whether it's going to be uh, more mechanistic studies to understand the metabolism of, of omega-3s or a phase three clinical trial using high-dose DHA in uh, at-risk participants. One thing I didn't mention that 50% of the individuals in PREVENT-E4 were APOE4 carriers.